We need to talk about your face or face recognition in general. A tweet has been making the rounds saying facial recognition is able to analyze in real time the emotions and feelings. Just that. And it showed a video of a apparent real-time system looking at people's faces and determining what their emotions are. Now, there is a predictable reaction of machine learning Twitter with respect to anything to do with facial recognition, and that reaction is no. The biggest reaction is no, this is impossible. AI will never be able to infer your emotions by looking at your face. This is the data is not there. Anything like this. I just think that is really, really, really surprising, honestly. Now, look, facial recognition technology isn't exactly the most popular subject. It's not going to win any Nobel Peace Prizes anytime soon. Is this technology? technology dystopian looking? Yes. Is it dangerous in the wrong hands? Yes. Does it work as advertised? Very probably no. Is it easy to be tricked? Absolutely yes. However, saying that it is impossible for an AI to look at your face and infer your emotional state, that is wondering me. You do this every day. You look at people's faces and then you infer something about their internal state. People splitting hairs here about the word analyze to analyze the emotions and feelings. Well, if you want to split words, I would say inferring is a lot heavier than analyzing. Your face has literally evolved to convey your internal state. Other people have a trouble with saying, well, you can fake your face. Not all facial expressions can be faked. A lot of what you tell with your face is involuntary. And there is in principle, not a reason why a machine cannot pick up on these cues. Now, this is not to say that this particular system works well. It probably does not. It is extremely hard to do this, to look at a face and get how that person is feeling through all the deception that might be there is an extremely hard task. But there's nothing supernatural about it. We do this. We're a machine. <laughs> Ergo, a machine can in principle do this. The most criticism I see right here is that, well, the machine only analyzes facial expressions. They have nothing to do with your emotions and feelings. What is that? Of course this has something to do with your emotions and feelings. Have you ever thought to yourself, huh, that person looks kind of sad today? Have you ever gone to someone and said, you know, you look a little bit down. Is everything okay? No, never, never. And you certainly didn't infer this from their face. Hey doctor, I have a problem. Well, what's your problem? Well, I banged my foot and now it hurts and it has a dent in it and it bleeds and it's swollen and everything is bad about my foot because I hit it and it might be broke. Well, don't say it's broken because the external symptoms will never tell us anything about the internal state of a system. I'm sorry, have you ever heard that an AI can diagnose lung cancer by looking at a chest x-ray? Well, no, well, we can say it's just that the AI detects a little bit of a spot and there is no correlation at all. This is no indication of the internal state of the cancer. <laughs> Shut up. Twitter makes it such that everyone immediately is extreme on the one side and extreme on the other side. Instead of saying the data to train this system is very hard to get, the systems itself aren't as good. They don't understand context that this happens in or nuances. That's very different from saying that, no, this is impossible. The most ridiculous is when people come out and compare this to phrenology or or literally call it phrenology. You know, phrenology, the science of what bump on your head means something about your personality or intelligence. Like my face has literally evolved to tell you something about my internal emotions. None of the bumps on my head have evolved to communicate about my intelligence. It is a predictable reaction for some reason. Anywhere where facial recognition technology is used, there is a crowd of people coming out saying, Fred 
terminology. Faces are a real thing. Emotions are a real thing. There is a real connection between your facial expression and your emotions. It is more complicated than these machines right now can assess. It might require more context, more data, better algorithms, and even things we don't have yet. But this definitely exists. It is not a pseudoscience. Not everything that has to do with face recognition is a pseudoscience. It might be dangerous, yet it's real. So in conclusion, I guess my message here is that yes, this is probably an over promise of what AI can do and it could easily be used for bad purposes. On the other hand, this is not a pseudoscience. This is not impossible. And research in this direction might actually lead to something good. Imagine an AI that is better than a human at recognizing emotions from someone's face. Assuming that is possible, we could avoid a lot of conflict, maybe do a lot of good work in suicide prevention, and ultimately communicate with the AIs as we would with other humans. Apart from all the bad thing that we can do with facial recognition technology, ultimately it's technology. It can be used for good, and for bad, and for evil. I'll end with the holy trifecta of broader impact statements. Technology good, technology bad, technology biased. Peace out.